Hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Gentlemen Masterclass. I am your host, Mark Antimate. I'm going to be conducting the review over the Old Spice Classic or Classic Aftershave. Now, if you guys remember and you've been a longtime follower of this channel, I have actually reviewed a Old Spice Aftershave maybe uh, approximately about five years ago, I believe, on this channel. It was called the Old Spice Classic Fresh Scent. And the package and the bottling looks almost exactly the same. The only difference is that instead of this little gray label down here, there's a little blue label. And instead of saying classic scent, it says fresh scent. So that's the one that I had reviewed before. And if you go search back, I believe you could find that video and watch it. But today we're talking only about the classic scent. And uh, my bottle is about 25% full. So I've been using it quite regularly for, I don't know, the past two years, two or three years. So... Uh, when it's done, I'll just end up buying some more of it. But anyways, the it comes inside of a similar buoy shaped bottle as the original one. And uh, what more can I say about this? Well, there's three bad points that I must point out and mention about this. And let's see, the first one is that the original manufacturer, Shulton, they had sold their product to Gamble and Proctor, who has taken over. And all in all, it's almost the same. You know, they uh, Proctor and Gamble have continued to sell the product and it's decent. Well, it, it's better than decent, but it's not the original formula, just to let you guys know right out of right out of the gate. And uh, I believe the original formula had a lot stronger scent than what you're getting from the Procter and Gamble uh, version of it. But relatively close, almost the same, but it's not exactly the same, just to let you know. And let's see, fact number two is that the original one from the Shulton Company, it used to come... It used to come inside of a glass bottle and it had a little gray cap to it. Now the Procter & Gamble one comes inside of a plastic container with a red cap. It's just small differences. I guess it doesn't doesn't really make that much of a difference. But I mean, if you wanted uh, quality presentation or something that was more environmentally safe, then of course you would appreciate the Shulton one a lot more. So I, I guess you know, with those points argued, it is better, the original one, but uh, still okay in plastic for me, but, you know, once it gets thrown out, what's going to happen to this? Uh, point number three, if you visit the main U.S. website for Old Spice, there is no mention of any aftershaves whatsoever on that website. But if you happen to go to the Old Spice Canada website, you could still find all of these aftershaves listed there. And um, I believe this is this is made in Canada. This one is made in uh, Toronto as well as in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let me take a look here. What else am I missing? I'm just referencing my notes real quick. About the fragrance itself, let's pull the top off. And I did have a shave today, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on. Let me just go ahead and go like this. Just do a quick dab like that. Take my hands like this, rub them together. And as I only did the sideburns and my neck, we're just going to do one of those numbers. All right, lid still off. The fragrance itself, it's uh, very sweet, powdery, like almost like a talcum or a baby powder, floral, and a spicy cinnamon. It's one of my favorite scents, and this will remain on my shelf 
until I die, pretty much. Um, now here comes the story that you all knew was coming. What turned me on to this product? Um, just maybe the same as for you, if if you're in my generation and Generation X or what have you. Uh, as a young boy, my father used to use this product, and he used it quite quite frequently. And I still remember him using it, and I still remember the smell inside the back of my mind that it just, it left a mark on me. And uh, as an adult, I'm in love with it, and um, it always makes me think of my father. Uh, one thing about it now is that, or at least one thing about my father, not the product itself, my father is asthmatic, and he says this just flames inflames his his asthma and it and it gives him asthma so unfortunately he had stopped using it but um i don't know how many years ago that was but at least probably a decade or two uh that he stopped using this product but uh for me i don't have any conditions like that and it's okay for me so you know i use it and um seeing how he used to use the original one the shulton one I believe that one that he used was actually a lot more stronger than this. But still, this is very, this is a very strong aftershave. And um, yeah, I, I could see how this would still even affect him today. But yeah, one of my absolute favorite uh, perfume aftershaves, quite nice. So, gentlemen, uh... Leave me a comment down inside the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Have you tried it? Uh, are you looking to try it? Do you only stick with the originals by going out on eBay and buying old bottles for whatever price? I'm looking to do that myself inside the future. But um, let me know what you guys think about this one and the original down inside the comment section. Anyways, that's all for today's episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy.